everyone, this is Roxas1359, welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. Last time we finished up Pokotaru and managed to obtain the O2 mask. This episode, we're going to head back to Planet Orkson. And now, we can actually get one of the gold bolts. You need the Visobomb gun to get the other one. You're going to see that my bolt count is pretty high, but I've not purchased the Visobomb gun because I want to get something else that is on planet. But we can get both the skill points that are on this planet, as well as one of the gold bolts. In fact, I'm going to go after one of the gold bolts right now, once we land. You know, after those pretty cutscenes. Anyway, good news! New Ratchet & Clank game! That's right, they are making a new Ratchet & Clank game. I found this out just like a couple hours ago. So, yeah. And... Hopefully nothing went wrong with the last episode. Something weird was going on, so I don't know exactly when it is going to be up. But, anyway, grab all these bolts. But yes, they are making a new Ratchet & Clank game that's actually going to be like the Ratchet & Clank game. Ah, crud, I had... should have done that. Looks like I have to go around. I can't just go straight to there. But anyway, um, they're making a new Ratchet & Clank game, and it's not going to be multiplayer focused. I gladly accept that with, like, full gusto. Anyway, you're going to hate this planet. Oh, yeah, I probably should. You're going to hate this planet simply because of these guys right here. They are powerful. And that's not all. There are little creatures that wake them up. Yeah, look at my bolt count. There's a reason why it's this high. And it's because I want to get something for fully upgrades. I think you guys can tell. That thing right there. It wakes them up. You can see how powerful these guys really are. And believe me, with what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to bum rush like crazy. But let us simply go this way and grab more bolts. Because I still haven't purchased the Visobomb gun yet. Or the decoy glove. Which, if anything, purchase the decoy glove beforehand because then you can do the glitch. That I'm going to end up showing you because there is a glitch to get a million bolts in this game. And that really seems to be like the only way to truly do it. Anyway, you can see that there are two paths right here. With these two paths, we have one that is full of these guys. So, we have this option. And as you can see, we have them down there. Blow you up. Blow you up. Oh, that woke him up. Ah, woke him up. That's not good. I wonder how well the Walloper works. Walloper seems to do good. Walloper seems to do really good. All right, Walloper it is then. Oh, an Infobot. Oh, gonna go, gonna go. And I'm gonna die. Get used to seeing that, because believe me, these guys are outrageous when it comes to this. Your best bet is to just sneak by them. And that's what these things, their job is to foil you along the way, but ignore them. And just chase after the info box. So, let's go up this way, because thank goodness they cannot go on magnet surfaces. Why is the fire angling up? I have to wonder. Right? It's so awkward using the magnet boots in this game. I don't like it. Right, and... Mutated seagulls, I guess? Anyway, we're coming up to where we can get our first skill point. What you're actually going to need is something that I don't normally use. And that is... Uh, let's actually switch it out quick. We're going to need the taunter, actually. The taunter has two uses. All oh, right, you can't change weapons while you're on here. I was wondering why I wasn't coming up, but then I remembered. Nope. Might as well just jump off there. Save time. Anyway, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to use the taunter to lure enemies into the force field. So, there you go. Skill point. What, you hit me? Come on, guys. And you get the trophy. Hey, over here. There we go. That takes care of them, which is good. And we're, oh, okay. I was wondering where that nanotech came from. All right, so we're going to have to jump over this. And we're going to need the swing shot. And head on over. 
And you can see a lot of those annoying little guys that wake up the enemies. This is where we're going to have the bum rush. Like crazy. Just ignore everything. Just bum rush. Just bum rush. Just bum rush. And just keep following the info bot. Alright, gonna need to break this. Okay, of all things, I don't know why I did that. In fact, I don't really think that there's any more switches in this game that actually have the slam for that. Why did you hit the enemy? Quickly! Agents of Doom! Way to wake up, everyone. Now, you can see something right here. You noticed before how there was a, like, gold bolt that was up there. And I said how we'll have to wait until later to be able to get it. Well, we'd have to come back this way and go through here. As you can see, you have to destroy it using the Visibomb gun because this is metal. Like, I don't get it. Did the metal and the something else, did the metal and everything just mutate with wildlife? Okay, now here comes to where we're going to have to run. We're going to have to run. We're going to have to run like crazy. And we're going to have to come inside here. And going up. Don't worry. We're going to have to come back to Orkson, which is why I'm not worried about it. I just want to get the more expensive stuff out of the way. But let's see this. Hello again, everyone. Supreme Executive Chairman Drek here to fill you in on our progress. We have now found the perfect orbit for our planet, one which will allow for the optimum temperature all year round. However, there is a planet now occupying that orbit, and sadly, for its few insignificant inhabitants, it must be destroyed. And that's why we've created this! The Planet Buster Maximus, a device capable of blowing an entire planet into subatomic particles. We're quite proud of it. Here's how it works. We attach the Planet Buster to this ship, fly it into orbit around the planet, and let it go! Kaboom! <laughs> Quite ingenious, really. Once our trained professionals put the finishing touches on our new planet, everything will be complete. Thank you! Goodbye. Dear God. Now this guy's gonna blow up an entire planet? That's just... me. That's what I've been telling you. Look, I'm still gunning for Quark. If we end up taking out Drek, too? Hey, <laughs> fine. What? You do care. Don't push it, pal. Damn it, it looked like he wasn't going to be a dick. But as you can see, that opens up right there. And we are actually down here where we need to be. Which is perfect for me. Great, we got more of these guys. Might as well destroy them. But since we're already around here, we'll be able to go and get that gold bolt now. Ow. But also, I need to destroy these frog things. Because I hate them. Alright. And give me some nanotech, because I need that. Go around here. And we're back here. Simple as that. Really easy. Right. And let us simply go over this way now. Now, you could have just gone straight to the next planet if you want to, but there is one more thing that is on Orkson that I want to get. Well, besides the gold bolt, obviously. And it is actually up here. But we have to go around to be able to do that. So, for right now, we're going to go and grab that gold bolt because I keep on taunting about it. And you can't... Oh. These things. And you can't go up there, but there's just boxes. There's nothing really there, so there's no point. Well, Bit of overkill, yes. I forgot I had the Agents of Doom out. There's what they got the blaster. Oh, God. They can jump? Okay, they're even more deadly now. Now, to get the first gold bolt, which is up here. Ta-da! And that is one of the gold bolts. We can't get the other one until I get the Visobomb gun, unfortunately. And I'm going to grab these bolts because the more bolts I can get, the better. Right. Give me bolts. Give me bolts. Do you see what I mean by how picky it is? That oh, man. Need to get more nanotech. 
I'm just doing this because I want to get more bolts. So that I'm not completely broke by the end of this. Because right now, by the end of this, I'm going to end up spending like 34,000 bolts in a matter of seconds. God dang it. See, this is what I mean. This is what I don't like about the um, metal detector. It's very picky on how exactly you have to stand above it. It's rather annoying. Right. Break that. And give me more bolts. I need more bolts. I need more bolts. There we go. And now we'll have 2,000. Perfect. Simply perfect. Do not hit bomb, but still hit the box. There. All right. Go over this way. So how have you guys been? I hope you guys are enjoying the fact that I'm actually back from doing from my break and everything. I mean, the break was nice, but I guess everything's good now. The Steam Summer Sale is over now, so there's no more fancy Steam games to get. Although, I did hold off because I knew that there was going to be one game that I wanted to get. I ended up getting a few in the end, but that was because one of them I was going to get before the Summer Sale began, but then Link's Paradox talked me out of it and said just wait for the Summer Sale, which I did. Uh, one of them I bought for a friend, one of them, and then the rest I bought for myself. The ones I got for myself... Whoa. Oh, I forgot that this actually takes you down over this way. I forgot about that. Uh, the one I bought for my... The ones I bought for myself were, um... What were they? They were The Fable, The Lost Chapters... Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing Transformed with Metal Sonic because I actually really wanted that. Just like I, I got want these, but parts. I'm going to hold off because I am strong. Uh, then I got FTL. I believe that was that's everything actually. Let me actually change to Blaster. You can I don't think you can destroy that ship, but still, just dodge, dodge, jump up. And, hey, look, a Blarg person. Hey, look, he's dead. So many bolts. Hmm. Maybe by the end of this, I will be able to afford at least the decoy gloves so then I can get a lot of bolts. Because if I could do the glitch, originally I was going to tell myself I wasn't going to, but the amount of time it would take for me to do it to build up the rhino would be outrageous. This is also the good way to get the one million bolts trophy in the game as well, which I still find to be utterly ridiculous. Because it's not a problem in the other Ratchet & Clank games, but in this one it's just... it just keeps you busy. All right. Kill you. Oh! Seagulls! Seagulls! Seagull mutant seagulls! All right. And we're actually close to where we can get the second skill point for Orcs on. So, let us destroy all that. And gets more bolts. So many bolts. Kind of wish I had a bolt grabber. All right, jump over here, here, here. Yeah, we gotta have to deal with that guy for a while now. And believe it or not, I know it seems kind of weird. You'd think that one of the mission, not mission, one of the skill points would be to like destroy some of the ships, but it's not actually. All right, just jump, jump. Okay, now we gotta deal with this guy right here. There we go. And we're actually going to get the second skill point right now. So, what is it? We have to shoot through this hole right here. At an enemy. Ta-da! And that one should also get us a trophy, I believe. Could be wrong. Yep. Gets you the sniper trophy. So, that is all the skill points on Planet Orkson. And... Unlock sketchbook. That's for getting 15 skill points out of the game. Out of the game's 30. All right, we're gonna need to get out the metal detector because I need bolts. I know it's only 50 each, but bolts are bolts. There we go, and that's all of them. So let us take out the glove of doom and look at all the enemies glove of doom glove of doom glove of doom glove of doom here we go okay i know i'm like jumping around right there but for some reason my controller was slipping around and sliding oh and 
still have one who's sleeping. There we go. And that's all of them. Woohoo! Not bad. Right? Nope, that's not what I needed to do. That's what I needed to do. Just like I needed to do. Not that. Not that. That. Yeesh. I am very uncoordinated today. Alright. And grab these. And while I'm at it, metal detector. Now, I'm not equipping it to my quick select because it really kind of just takes up space. Because these bolt catches and everything, they're only like one time things, I believe. Because when I went to go around to grind the bolts earlier, they were like one time. Right? There we go. And let us blow those up to get more bolts. Uh oh. I see you. Club of Doom! Okay, there we go. Oh, did I blow one of them up? I hope I didn't. Alright, and we're just about at the end right here. So, just jump around here. Oh, we got a Blarg. Kill him. Now there should be, I think, another Blarg around here. Yep, there he is. Wow, it's been a while since I've done this section exactly. And we are at the end now. So, let us get this get the Glove of Doom ammo, because I actually have been using that a lot. And, what's this? Whatever it is. This is a premium nanotech dispenser. You can purchase it from to increase your maximum health. Yep. Nanotech health increaser. And let me tell you. The first one is a misnomer on how cheap it is. The second one is expensive as hell. So you'll see why it is that I exactly, you know, got so many bolts. Because you're about to see them go all down the drain. Alright, and there we go. So let us purchase some premium nanotech for 4,000 bolts once I destroy these boxes because I did not notice these. Alright, and... There we go. This dispenser also carries Ultra Nanotech, the very latest in gadgetron technology. Ultra Nanotech is three times more potent than premium nanotech. Yep, and it costs 30,000 bolts. Ta-da! Eight health. That is the maximum health that you can have in the first Ratchet and Clank game. And that's why I built up so many bolts. So how many do we have left? We have 5,178. That is not enough to what I need to buy. So, anyway guys, I'm going to end it off right here. We're going to Roxas 1359. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to uh, save up some bolts. Like, go around some of the other worlds and just start building up bolts again. And then I'm going to buy the decoy glove, and I'm going to show you guys the glitch that you can do. And once I do the glitch, I'm going to end up uh, probably building up to enough to get the rhino and to also get the rest of the weapons of the game. So the rest of the weapons in the game, uh, through what I'm going to be doing, I'll actually be able to get discounts on some of the weapons. The rhino unfortunately will not be discounted so I'm gonna build up a bit so I'll see you guys next time